In all levels, we have learnt about the binomial expansion of a plus b to the power of n for positive integers of n. However, in A-level mathematics, we will be exploring the use of binomial expansion for any rational number n, and it is not just limited to positive integers n. So in this video, we will revisit binomial theorem from O-level math. So when n is a positive integer, the expansion of a plus b to the power of n is actually a finite series with n plus 1 terms. And you notice that the powers of a are in descending order, whereas the powers of b are in ascending order. So the sum of powers of a and b is always equal to n. In short, a plus b to the power of n can be rewritten as a summation from r equals to 0 to n of n choose r, a power n minus r, b power r for positive integers of n. Now from here, we can also see that this will give us the r plus 1 term or general term of our binomial expansion. So just a point to note, n choose r is actually n factorial divided by r factorial multiplied by n minus r holding factorial. And this is what we call the binomial coefficient. Now let's look at the next page. Write down the expansions in ascending powers of x for the following. For part a, 2 square root x will be a and 3x will be our b. So 4 over here will be n. If we apply our binomial formula, this is what we'll get. Taking note that for the first term, 4 choose 0 is equal to 1, and so is for the last term, 4 choose 4 is also equal to 1. All these values of n choose r can actually be computed through your GC. You notice that there are terms with square root x, so we want to convert this into indices, in which this is actually x to the power of half. Therefore, you see a 3 over 2 here, and we like to simplify things. So combining all the x terms together, we can write this out neatly, and the binomial expansion will be in ascending powers of x. Now let's look at part b. For part b, we have 2x squared minus 3 over x. So 2x squared will be a, whereas negative 3 over x will be our b. So this is what we'll get when we apply the binomial expansion formula. In order to simplify this, we shall rewrite this as 2 to the power of 4, bringing in the power, and 2 times 4, x to the power of 8. And this is negative 3, x to the power of negative 1. So we can combine the powers of x to become x to the power of 7. Now notice that if our b is negative, we actually have alternating signs in our binomial expansion. Moving on to part C, now you notice that there are three terms over here. So what we have to first do is to split them into two terms, your A and B, and you see that we can split it like this, where A is 1 and negative 2x plus 3x squared is B. 
Can we actually split this into 1 minus 2x and 3x squared instead? Actually, you can, but the simpler way would be to split this into 1 and something else. Because when you take 1 to the power of anything, you'll still get 1, which simplifies our working. So, if we apply our binomial expansion formula here, this is what we will have. Okay, 1 is from our 3 choose 0, this is 3 choose 1, 3 choose 2, and so on. So what remains is actually to expand them and simplify. Now you notice that the last term of this binomial expansion can actually be written as another binomial expansion which you actually will have over here. Please also remember to group the respective terms together if they are of x squared, group all the x squares together. Now let's move on and look at the next page. Example 2. Find the coefficient of x to the power of negative 2 in the expansion of this. Now before we can do that, we need to know what the general term for this expansion is. Recall that at the beginning of the video, we talked about the r plus 1 term or general term to be n choose r times a to the power of n minus r b to the power of r. So following this, let's write out what is the general term for 1 over x plus 2x to the power of 8. So this is the general term, but let's try to simplify this further. Let's combine the x terms together, where this is actually 2 to the power of r, x to the power of r, multiplied by x to the power of negative 8 plus r. And that is how we combine the terms together. So since we are looking for the coefficient of x to the power of negative 2 in the expansion, we want the power of x to be the same, which is that negative 8 plus 2r is the same as negative 2. And that is why we can equate them to solve for r to be equal to 3. But that's not the final answer because we still need to evaluate what the coefficient is. And to do that, we'll substitute r equals to 3 back into the coefficient of the general term that we found previously. And then we will have the coefficient to be 448. Let's look at example 3 now. Find the term independent of x in the expansion of this. Now, term independent of x here will mean that this is the constant term in our binomial expansion, also when x is to the power of 0. So just as before, we will find out what the general term is, where 2x is a and negative 1 over 2x squared is b. So similar to what we have above, after we simplify, you'll realize that the power of your x in general is 15 minus 3r. So for the term independent of x, we will equate this to 0 because the constant term has x to the power of 0. And solving for r, we have r equals to 5. Substitute in r equals to 5 into the expression we have above. And this will be the answer.